Hey there, Hushpup here, back for some more Genshin Impact. It's been a long while since the last one, but we have a new banner. It's got Hu Tao again for her rerun, but we've also got Toma to get. We have quite a lot of Primo gems saved up as well as five fates that we got from somewhere. So we're going to go and pull on this banner and see if we can get Toma. We're not really that interested in Hu Tao, I don't think. We could get her to C1, I'm not really sure yet. I'm debating on whether to go and get her C1 or if we should go and get the weapon, the Staff of Homer since I could do either one of those. But we'll see how many pulls it takes to get Toma. And it might take ages. Oh, we've got Noelle. That's cool. I think we don't have her at C6 yet, so that will be useful. Diona. Okay, another four-star character. Oh, and there he is, Toma. <laughs> I got him already. Wow, that was very easy. Uh, <laughs> I guess that means we can just save all of our gems then. That's really cool. Yeah, one pull, one ten pull, and we got him. Cool, well, we're done here. <laughs> I guess this is going to be a super short video then. Now that is fun. We've got three four-star characters in one ten pull. That's actually quite good. I'm very happy with that. And it leaves 19,000 gems to do something else with, whether we go for C1 Hu Tao, the Staff of Homer, or if we decide to go on and just I'll save them for the next banner. The same as Lots I'm... of options. All right, let's slot in Noelle's constellation. There we go, we got her to C6. Very nice. Might even use her again, actually, because we did build her before. It'll be fun to pull out Noelle again, just to smack enemies in the face with a giant sword. All right, let's bring up Toma. There he is, in all of his glory. Cool, his attack animations are really nice. Can't wait to build him one day, especially because he's another shield character. Jin Yan does have a pyro shield, but since it's not on the E ability, you can't use it as often and it's not really as good. So this one is definitely an improvement. Now funnily enough, I haven't unlocked that island in Inazuma yet where you can go and farm the little plant things for Toma, so we can't actually ascend him very far. They do give you three for free when you complete his character demo trial, so I've gone and grabbed those and I've ascended him once. So he's going to have to sit at Ascension 1 for now, and we're going to have to wait until we unlock the island and do the stuff there to be able to get him up further. I've just been really, really busy over the Halloween period. I've just not been able to really play much. I've only recently just unlocked the island where you can go and farm bits for the Raiden Shogun and such, as well as fighting the Electro boss. But since there's an event on, I've got to rush through this and <laughs> make sure it gets done. Don't want to miss those Primo gems. Well, that was fun. We managed to get Toma. Brought him back to Mondstadt, or oh, well, we summoned him here, really, didn't we? And we also managed to only have to spend 10 pulls on him, which was absolutely hilarious, much to the annoyance of my friend. But it's all good fun, anyway. Well, it means we have plenty of gems to save for whatever we want to do next time, whatever that may be. Uh, I guess that means this is a very, very short video, then, huh? Well, until then, thanks for watching, and... I will see you guys next time, where we're going to be maybe pulling on something else. I don't know, I might be getting C1 Hu Tao, or maybe even the Staff of Homer. Ooh, the weapon banner. Very scary thing to pull on, especially as a free-to-play or light spender. That thing is still a bit of a scam, to be honest, but yeah, we might give it a go. Either, either one of the two. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. As we can't really do anything else even if we wanted to because we don't actually even have the materials to level up Toma.